Здравствуйте. <смех> Снова микрофон не работает. Окей, okay, всех приветствую на этом стриме. Ребят, хочу начать с того, что сегодня воскресенье, 4 часа дня. И, значит, в это время каждый день я постараюсь проводить уроки онлайн, поэтому, пожалуйста, имейте в виду 4 часа дня каждый день. Окей, okay, сегодняшний урок посвящен теме порядка, порядка прилагательных в нашем предложении. Вот, э, уроки будут не длинные, порядка 20-25 минут, может до получаса доходить. Alright, э, давайте уже приступим к нашему уроку. Э, не забывайте активно участвовать в комментариях, я смогу смотреть их и сразу же отвечать на ваши э, вопросы, если таковые появятся. Ну что ж, э, давайте уже перейдем к нашей сцене, э, где мы начнем нашу э, тему. Окей? Okay? Итак, э, значит... Э, Тема выглядит вот таким вот маленьким образом. Значит, uh, alright, in English we call this uh, order of adjectives. Okay? Sometimes we have some situations when in a sentence we have several um, description words. They are adjectives. For example, um, if I want to talk about an elephant, I can say that it is a big, friendly an old elephant right so i have three adjectives in a sentence so how do i make an order for each okay this topic is all about this grammar it's very important very important okay so um let's make it a little bigger here first i want to explain to you guys what these eight adjectives mean okay <laughs> Alright, um, adjective number one is an opinion adjective. Opinion adjective right here, okay? You remember that opinion это мнение, okay? So, when you want to express something that you think it is, like it's beautiful, the food could be tasty, right? This person could be attractive, right? That, um, you know, new technology can be smart, okay? This is all the adjectives or all the description words that come from your mind okay this is one point opinion adjectives uh, in this group inside of this group we have description uh, wait um, observation observation adjectives I'm sorry <laughs> it's it's in on my mind and uh, a little different on my handwriting anyways so observation right this is how i write it observation so what is observation in russian это um, скажем так наблюдение okay so for example if you uh, look at a plate and this plate is broken okay it's not your thoughts that it's broken it's the fact it's your observation all right это факт это ваше наблюдение тарелка сломана right so Um, if you express this kind of adjective like broken, you go for the first group. You go for opinion adjective. Okay. So uh, the second group, second group of adjectives is size. Okay. When you talk about size, it could be big, large, enormous. Enormous. Это огромный. Пишется вот так. Enormous. Okay. Very big. Okay, huge. Еще больше. All right. Uh, so, next one. The third group is age. Age это возраст. Okay. So, uh, you can talk about age like uh, naming a number, saying like it's uh, or he or she is like 16 years old or young or old. Right. All the descriptions that relate to ages. Again old, young, 16 years old, 15 years old, adult, and so on. Okay, next one, uh, shape. What is shape, guys? Shape is forma. All right, so um, in shapes you can have rectangular, это прямоугольник, square, um, квадрат, uh, triangle, треугольник, round, это круг, right? So uh, the shape could be hard, hard shape. То есть сердце, форма сердца, любая форма какого-то существительного. Next one, next group is color. Color – это самое легкое, это цвет, 
Окей. Okay. Здесь нужно uh, заметить правописание этого слова, right? So, let's talk a little about um, spelling. Spelling – это правописание. И правильное произношение, кстати, тоже. Итак, смотрим. Uh, есть два в, способа выразить или написать слово «цвет» – «color». Первый способ – «color», если так вот по-русски выражаться. Right? И uh, the second way of writing this word is «color». Without you, C O L O R. All right. So this version is British, and this version is American. As you can see, I'm trying to teach you American English, guys. So uh, my mm, spelling is American as well. Okay. Uh, this is the fifth group. Color. Let's move on. All right. Our next uh, group is material. Material. Uh, material means what it's made of. Okay. It could be metallic. It could be glass, wooden, paper. It could be um, some other words. Right. I think I gave you enough examples. All right. In Russian, this is это материал из которого сделано uh, что-то. Okay. Oh. One more example, plastic, okay? So if I'm talking about something I have right now, well, um, this is a printer, okay? So this printer is made of a plastic, made of plastic without M, sorry. This printer is made of plastic. This pen is made of plastic and a little, um, I would say a little, um, a little metal or something, right? Something inside there. So, um, and so on. This table right here is made of wood, okay? So, wooden, wooden, то есть деревянный, пишите вот так, wooden. Кстати, den или ten произношение мы через нос проговариваем, еще раз. Это будет wooden, all right? Not wooden. Кстати, wooden тоже нормально. Anyway, so, wooden table, деревянный стол, material. Next group, number seven. This is origin. Origin, it's when it comes from, where it's from, okay? From where, то есть откуда это, страна или uh, какой-то точка, откуда прибыл этот предмет, okay? So, if I'm talking about American, American pen, это будет американская ручка, то есть, естественно, uh, so we understand that the word American is origin, where it came from, from America, that's an American pen, all right? Next. Uh, purpose. Purpose is a little difficult, but um, you'll figure out. Believe me, it's very easy uh, from the second thought. So, purpose. Перевод на русский это цель. Purpose. My purpose, my goal, my aim, right? So, uh, purpose adjectives are very special. Um, for example, if I'm talking about um, a baseball game, right? So, uh, this ball, right? This ball is um, a baseball ball, all right? They call it a baseball anyways. So what I want to say is that when you talk about sports, okay, let's take another sport, uh, like um, tennis, okay? So in tennis, we have a ball and a racket. Tennis racket, um, when I take this example, tennis racket, it has an adjective in it, tennis, right? In Russian, we say tennisная raketka, all right? So tennis racket, why do we use this rocket for tennis? So tennis is an adjective of purpose. Do you understand that? То есть еще раз, когда мы говорим теннисная ракетка, это ракетка для чего? Для какой цели она используется? Для тенниса. Вот и вот отсюда мы и понимаем, что такое прилагательное цели, right? We call it in Russian прилагательные цели. Okay, so we've talking, uh, we've talking about eight groups, eight groups. As you can see, there are little stars here, star number one and star number two here, for opinion and size. Sometimes you can change the places. Okay, sometimes you can say uh, size first, or sometimes you can say opinion first. So remember, if you talk about opinion first, emphasis, emphasis, это ударение, это смысл весь. Emphasis falls on your opinion. If you talk about size first, then emphasis falls on size. Okay, very simple. So, um, you know, it's a little hard to remember them, seriously. Even I sometimes forget them. But uh, there's one trick that you can use, guys, uh, to remember it very well. 
The trick is finger method, okay? So we have 10 fingers and we have 8 groups, okay? Let's go for each. So, um, this is my left hand and this is my right hand. I know this is vice versa in your camera, but that's my left and right hand, okay? Well, uh, for opinion, I say that this finger, this thumb, it's called a thumb, okay? So, uh, this thumb is for opinion adjectives, all right? So, I look at my fingers and I say, okay, this is opinion adjectives, mm -hmm, good. Second uh, group is size, so my second finger would be for size, okay, that's a size. Uh, third finger is for age. Okay, I um, kind of try to remember these groups by looking at my fingers. Again, let me check myself. This is opinion, this is uh, size, this is age. Oh, I'm good, I'm good, yeah. Next finger is shape. Okay, this is shape. You can imagine or remember it very quickly. Again, purpose, age, uh, no, purpose, size, age, shape, color. Next one is material, purpose, no, mistake, material, origin, purpose. Okay, it's a little bit tricky from the first time, from the first try, but I'm sure you can figure out it's very easy when you uh, practice a little. Okay, fine, uh, so let me repeat it again. Um, I'm gonna check myself. So, this is opinion, uh, size, age, shape, color, material, origin, purpose. Mm, great, very easy, believe me. So you can use this method. Okay, let's have an, uh, a next look at the example we have right here. An example says, a lovely. So A relates to our mug. Where is mug? Mug is a кружка, чашка, такая большая чашка. Кружка, из которой пьют. Большая, глубокая кружка. Чашка. Okay, again, uh, so a lovely. What is lovely? Mm. I think it's lovely. Lovely – это красивая, right? Красивая, хорошенькая. So I think this is a lovely, my opinion. First, uh, lovely. Next, age. So we don't have a size here, right? So we skip it. Next, we have age, all right? Old. Okay, so we talk about opinion. Then we talk about old, right? This is for age. Next, ceramic, material, what it's made of. This is material, okay? So I'm looking at my fingers. I don't have these groups. Shape, I don't, I'm sorry for this. <laughs> oh my God. But anyways, <laughs> you understand that. We don't have no, neither um, size, all right? We don't have a um, shape or color, okay? So we only have a uh, an opinion, we have an age, we have material and purpose okay purpose so <laughs> let's read it again a lovely old ceramic coffee mug okay pay attention to the word coffee coffee this is a purpose adjective why do we use this mug for coffee you understand that that's a purpose adjective okay let's move on guys um we have a practice okay well that's per eat okay that's per eat the lesson is not gonna be so long or difficult little by little every day guys just study with me together so uh, we have 10 sentences here for practice okay and let's do them together I'm gonna read you three examples uh, even four examples and then I'll um, translate two more sentences and five others will be for your homework all right, ready? Let's jump right in. The first sentence right here says in Russian, металлическая синяя американская машина. Make sure that this is not a sentence. I was a little, it was my mistake to say they, that we have 10 sentences. No, we have 10 expressions or phrases, okay? So the first phrase, first example phrase says, металлическая синяя американская машина. So, this order in Russian can be different from the order in English. So, what happens here? Metallichskaya. This is material. Alright, can you see me? Yes. So, this is material. Asinia. This is color. Right here. Uh, Amerikanskaya. This is origin. Okay? Origin is here. So, what I say is, I can see that this is color, this is material, and this is origin. And I say it like, okay, first, blue. Next, material, metal, then origin, American, and then the word car. 
Again, what we get is blue metal American car. Very simple. Okay. So uh, don't forget about articles here, and let's go. Let's move on. Okay. Derivane dishove karishnve gitara. So let's have a look. Derivane. This is material. Okay. It comes. It goes from here. It goes there. All right. It goes there. Derivane. Um, derivane in English can be wooden. Okay. Dishove. I think that's my opinion. Okay. I think it's cheap. Opinion adjective goes first. Karishnve color. It goes here. So we have opinion, color, and material. What happens is we say first dishove cheap. Next we have color karishnve uh, brown, and then we have material wooden. We get cheap brown wooden guitar, All right? Or if we add a um, an article here, we say a cheap brown wooden guitar. Okay, remember the rule. We put a before a consonant and n before a vowel sound. Next, second example is большой молодой белый полярный медведь. We have four adjectives here. So большой, this is size. Okay, uh, the second finger was for size. Okay. Uh, next, молодой age. This is age. Okay. Uh, белый color. We don't have a shape. Color and uh, полярный медведь. Полярный. That is um, origin. Where it came from? From somewhere. <laughs> okay, somewhere from from here. Okay. Um, again, we have four adjectives. The first one is uh, большой size. We have молодой age, Billy color, and origin polar. We say a big young polar. Wait. A big young white polar bear. Okay? A big young white polar bear. Make sure to put an article here. Next one. Okay, we have the third sentence here. In Russian it says Balshaya Harosha Kojana Sumka. Okay, Balshaya at the size. Okay, our second finger. Harosha, I think it's good. Origin. Uh, I'm sorry, opinion. Kojana, leather. Это у нас uh, material. Получается. Good. Big. Leather. Back. Remember that I can uh, change places for my opinion and size. And I can say big good leather back. Alright. Don't forget about article A here. Fine. So we've started uh, three uh, sentences here. Okay. Let's do a couple of more and then we'll finish. Uh, example number four. Красивая. <laughs> See, I'm talking Russian. I'm talking English. Uh, красивая, молодая, умная девушка. Okay, красивая. I think she is beautiful. Or this is my observation, right? This is obvious. Это очевидно. Obvious. All right. So I say uh, красивая for opinion adjectives. Молодая, age, умная, uh, also mm, opinion. What happens when we have two opinion adjectives? We just put them the way we want them to say. Make sure to emphasize the first one. Okay? Итак, если у нас два прилагательных одной группы, мы ставим их просто рядом и выбираем один из них, который пойдет в первую очередь. Но если мы начинаем предложение с, вот, с двух из них, красивое или умное, right, мы ставим первым то, на котором мы делаем больше акцент. Ну, в принципе, это не, так сильно важ... не такую сильную роль играет, поэтому можно и так, и так волноваться и париться на эту тему не нужно. So, again, let's translate this. I say beautiful, smart, young woman. Okay? So, beautiful, smart, young woman. Okay? Very simple. I'm using my fingers. They help me a lot. Okay? You can use the same trick. And our last sentence would say... Would, um, would be translated like that. Старая, круглая, разбитая тарелка. Okay. Старая. H. Alright. So, H goes for uh, here. Круглая. This is shape. Разбитая. Разбитая – это у нас observation. Оно идет в opinion adjectives. То есть, observation, повторюсь, это наблюдение. То, что, то, есть, то, что мы можем видеть. Right. That, that's a broken plate. Right. That's our 
observation it, it goes to the second uh, to the first group so we say it like that broken old round plate broken old round plate старая круглая разбитая тарелка ну вот, uh, в принципе, и все. That's it, guys. The lesson is finished right here. It's not so big and long. I guess you enjoyed that. And I do hope that you um, got something new for yourself. All right? So make sure to do other five sentences, okay? Complete them in word format and then send me. I'll check it up and evaluate if you wish so. Okay? So, um... You can get this file in our group, how to use in Telegram, make sure to subscribe. And thank you very much for your participation, guys. See you later. Get um, smarter, okay? Don't get lazy. And uh, good luck with your English. Goodbye.